how to use the count ifs function in Google Sheet to solve a real problem, to solve a practical situation. And what is the difference between the equal sign count if function to the count ifs? What is the difference between these two? We're gonna see it too with a practical example. Here to the left, I have basically a data set with a couple of different columns, such as the order date, the order ID, the region name, and the total sold for each one of the orders that I have here. I can make a lot of different analysis using this data set that I have here. And one analysis that I can make here, the count ifs function can help me. That is, how many orders greater than $300 are there for the north region, west region, south region, east region? So as you guys can see here, I have two different criteria, two different conditions. The first one is, basically, I can't count everything that I have in the data set. I can't count the total orders that I have. No, it's not what I need. I need to count the total orders if the order is greater than $300. So this is the first criteria. And the second criteria is if the region is equal to north or west or south or east okay so two criteria that i have the region and also the the the, the amount the total sold let's start here using the equals sign count if we need to be mindful here because we have count if and count ifs with the s in the ending of the word and the S in the end of the words changes the quantity of criteria that you can use in the, in the function. If you just have only one criteria, let's say just the region, I want you to count not everything, but just the things that match with the north region. One criteria. That's it. Simple as that. You can use the count if function. But if you have, like in this example right here, more than just one criteria, such as the region and also the total needs to be greater than $300. That is also a criteria, a condition. You have here two different conditions. You can also have three, four, five different criteria. It doesn't matter. If you have more than one, you need to use, you must use the count ifs function. So let me click here in the count if function, click, and then I need to follow this logic right here. First, I select the criteria range, and then I select the criteria that I'm gonna use to count, to match with the range that I selected before. And then again, I select the second criteria range, and then the second criteria, and then the third criteria range, and then the third criteria, and so on, so on, so on. Let's start here with uh, the criteria range number one, the first criteria range that I'm gonna use. I can either start with the region name or the total sold, it doesn't matter. So let's start with the region name. I can either select a small range like this or click over the letter C to select the entire column C, like this. And then comma to go to the next condition that we have here in the count ifs function. That is the criterion one or the criteria number one, the first criteria that we're gonna use here. And we need to be mindful because as we selected the column C as our first criteria range, we need to select the region as the first criteria. And my first criteria is the north. I can either click in the cell to select what I need, or I can open quotations and type it in north, for example, and close quotations. It doesn't matter. You can choose the option that you like the most. But I'm going to choose and I click over the cell because that way we can make the function dynamically. Comma. Now the second criteria range is going to be the column A, B. No, the column D because here is where I have the total sold. And also the total sold is gonna be one of the, my, my criteria. I can click over the column D and then comma. My second criteria range now, it's a little bit more difficult to input here because how can I do and uh, how can I make the count ifs function understand that I need to count just the orders that is greater than a certain value, for example. Look here what I'm gonna do. Open quotations mark and then I need everything that is greater than $300. So, greater than, I need to use this symbol right here. Greater than, greater than. However, if you want to count everything that is less than 300, for example, let's say, you can use the less than sign. And if you want to count everything that is equal to, 
maybe you can just input the number itself or you can do the same thing but you can change the sign and use this equal sign okay the equal symbol so greater than three hundred dollars i don't need to put the dollar sign here it doesn't matter because it's a value and then i close prevent close uh, quotations mark and then close parentheses that's it simple as that enter okay uh google she is very clever so it's automatically suggest here for me the autofill i'm gonna reject this suggestion because i'm gonna show you how can you do if you ain't got this suggestion so we already have here got the first result that is equal to eight or i have eight orders for the north region that is greater than three hundred dollars that's it simple as that so this is how we can use the count ifs function in google sheet now what you do for the the next rows instead of you do it manually all over again I can click in the down right corner of the cell we code and drag down to make sure all the rows now contain the same formula or in this case right here the same function so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video i see you there